we're looking at slightly cooler weather as we go through the uh, coming week, but right now we are dealing with some cloud cover overhead. Look at this. We have a few clouds over Sacramento. Current temperature is 85 degrees, and we'll be cooling off nicely this evening. Southwest winds blowing at 11 miles per hour. The Delta breeze is not as strong. But it still is going to impact our temperatures as we head on into early tomorrow morning. So from Sacramento to Stockton, we're currently getting a few clouds overhead, 86 degrees in the northwest wind blowing at six miles per hour. Modesto currently temperature about 86 degrees again with those clouds, partly cloudy with the northwest wind blowing at nine miles per hour. Fairfield temperature 81 degrees with a few clouds and a southwest wind blowing at 15 miles per hour. While Lake Tahoe, this is where. All the action is. We still have some heavy rain. You can see working its way across the lake. Dark skies, 63 degrees, with a northeast wind blowing at six miles per hour, with some thunderstorms that keep on developing to the south and moving out across the lake. And so that's going to continue. It looks like as we head through the rest of this afternoon and on into the early evening. Weather watchers calling it with temperatures like these: 86 degrees in Strawberry Valley, Low Marica 92, Pollock Pines 84, Citrus Heights warming up to 94, Manteca 92 degrees. Thunderstorms, though, that's the focus of the weather as we go through this evening. Expect to have conditions very active. All that moisture coming up from the south, just kind of ramping up the eastern slope of the Sierra. And we're seeing just these areas of rain, and of course the lightning strikes denoting where we have those thunderstorms and lots of areas of purple. That area of purple, that's the hail that's associated with those thunderstorms. And so some hail, some heavy rain, and possibly some strong gusty winds also with these thunderstorm cells. Near Tahoe City, we have a pretty good cell developing there. Also the one that prompted the uh, severe thunderstorm warning now going over I-80, but it is weakening quickly. Thunderstorm activity along Highway 89 and up towards Loyalton, where we see quite a few lightning strikes and some rain heading towards Portola. So that's where all the activity is. But that's uh, being prompted or being caused by an area of low pressure that's sitting off the northern coast of California. Right here, you see it just spiraling around. And this is eventually going to work its way across the state. And as it does so, it's going to increase the chance for thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow. Could even have some uh, nocturnal thunderstorms Monday night and into Tuesday. So that's the nighttime thunderstorms in the mountains. We're seeing that through Monday. Here we go Monday, 3 p.m. We'll have more activity in the mountains popping up. And then Monday night, here comes a plume of moisture that's going to cut across. And here we go from midnight. On in through Tuesday morning, we'll see that come through. So we could even see a little bit of rain here in the valley, but again, most of that's going to be late Monday night and into early Tuesday morning. Forecast temperatures with that chance for thunderstorms. Love we'll daytime highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s for Truckee and Lake Tahoe. 89 in Placerville, Auburn, 90 degrees with a chance for some showers and thunderstorms in the foothills. I have a few clouds in San Francisco and 67 degrees for the valley. Temperatures in the 90s, upper 80s to lower 90s. We have 91 degrees in Woodland, 93 in Marysville. Seven day forecast says temperatures that are actually going to start cooling as we head through Tuesday and Wednesday and then back into the 90s by next week.